Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzlin' Spice. I'm so glad you're here today to see this fantastic recipe I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a blackened chicken with an avocado crema. Now when I say blackened chicken, it's gonna be pretty spicy, but in a great way. Sometimes when I tell Ed something's gonna have a lot of spice, what do you think, Eddie? I think I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> Cause he's afraid it's gonna be hot or something, but spicy just means Lots of wonderful flavors coming together, and this is not hot at all. It's so delicious. It's kind of my new favorite way to make chicken. And you know, you can make chicken about a thousand different ways. So we're gonna need a couple of chicken breasts today. We're going to need some avocado for the crema. We're gonna need some cilantro today. We'll be using some sour cream. We're gonna use some salt and pepper. We'll be using limes, and I love the citrus flavor in this. We're gonna need some butter. We'll be using garlic powder, some cumin, some ground thyme. We're gonna need some onion powder. And one of my favorite spices as of late is this smoky paprika. Love this. Let's get this started. So friends, what we're gonna do to get this uh, dish started is I wanna make a marinade for the chicken. And uh, I'm using a small saucepan on top of my oven. I have about six tablespoons of butter in here and I'm just gonna melt this. And then I'll actually move it to a cool burner and let it cool just a bit before I put the spice in it. That'll be next. Okay friends, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spice blend ready. And I'll tell you, I just opened up all the bottles. If you could see these here, Ed. And just the smell coming from these bottles, it's just wonderful, wonderful smoky kind of flavors. You guys are gonna love this one. So I'm gonna mix my spice blend, and it might seem like a lot for just two chicken breasts, but that's the whole idea of black and chicken. Lots of spice, lots of great flavor. So I'm gonna use uh, just about one teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to use two teaspoons of paprika, my smoky paprika. There's one, there's two. I'm going to use a teaspoon of cumin, which I love as well. Actually, I'm going to use two teaspoons of this, one and two. I'm going to use one teaspoon of onion powder. Whoo, it smells good. And I'm going to use one uh, probably two teaspoons of the garlic powder. There's one, there's two. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of salt, coarse salt, and I'm gonna shake some black pepper in here. Actually, I'm not gonna shake it. If you guys haven't seen this yet, this is one of my new favorite, absolutely necessary kitchen gadgets. My daughter gave me this as a gift with a salt shaker grinder as well. This is so cool, it has batteries in it. You can see the peppercorns in here. When you turn it over, the light goes on and the pepper grinds by itself. It's the coolest thing. So watch this. I love this thing. I'll be right back. Hey friends, it smells wonderful in here, don't you think, Eddie? It certainly does. It smells so good. So I've got my melted butter here and I let it cool a little bit. You don't want to put hot butter on the chicken to marinate it. It could start to cook the chicken. So that's why I cooled it a little bit. So that beautiful spice mixture that I made, I'm gonna pour that right into my butter here. And now that I have all the spice inside that butter, I'm going to put the juice of one lime into this marinade as well. I like to roll and press on the limes when I cut them open if I want to juice them because it just kind of creates more juice. It gets the juices flowing. So I'm gonna put that into here. And the other half, oh, the smells, I'm loving this. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir here. It's kind of a thick, spicy marinade. Oh man, it looks wonderful. And then I'm just gonna pour this right over my chicken. 
watch this come close and look at this beautiful marinade. Like yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna turn the chicken over so all the surfaces have a chance to, oh, the smell, oh my God. It smells so good. Can you smell it, Eddie? Honey, I gotta say this. It smells so good, I could eat that chicken raw. <laughs> I don't think you wanna do that. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but wow. All right, we're gonna let this uh, marinate here for about 20 minutes, and then uh, we're gonna move on to the next step. So while the chicken is marinating, I'm gonna make this avocado crema. We were at a farmer's market this past summer uh, several times, and every time I went, I had to eat these fabulous crepes that they make. Now, crepes is probably something I'd never make at home. So I loved getting it at the farmer's market. It was a savory crepe that I got, and they would drizzle this fantastic avocado crema over it. So I thought, I've gotta go home and make it. And make it really flavorful. It's gonna taste fantastic on top of this chicken. And on top of that, I've been using that avocado crema on my scrambled eggs. You can use it on vegetables or noodles. It's just a delicious pop of flavor. So we're gonna use avocados, of course. So if you guys are anything like me, this is the way I've always cut an avocado. Cut around the pit, twist it off, and I would take my knife and poke it and turn it out. You know what? You don't have to do that. This avocado comes out just like this. It's the simplest thing. And I realize this. How funny is that? There you go. Pops right out. No need to even use the uh, knife. So this is much simpler. I'm going to get a spoon here to spoon out my avocados right into my blender here. These are the perfect ripeness. They're beautiful. Sometimes you don't even need a spoon. Sometimes you can just squeeze it right out of the skin like that. So I'm gonna start with uh, two avocados. I'll see if that'll be enough for us. And you know what? Before these avocados sit here for very long, I wanna use some lime juice to make sure they don't start to brown. So again, I'm rolling my lime. I'm gonna get lime right in here right away so that avocado does not have a chance to turn brown because there's nothing really too much less appealing than browned avocado. It just kind of looks gross. You know what I'm talking about, Ed? I certainly do. <laughs> it doesn't look good when it's brown. You wanna keep it nice and green. And the beautiful thing about this avocado crema is you don't have to use it all today. I've made it before and once it's mixed with sour cream and the lime it stays a beautiful shade of light green you don't have to worry about it turning brown at all so like i said i'm going to do two avocados to start and we'll see how this comes out if we need any more there's two avocados oh gosh <laughs> slipped right out of my hand there Okay, let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. So, so far we have two avocados and juice of one lime in here. I'm actually gonna put the juice from at least one more lime in here. Uh, so that's two limes and we're gonna see what the consistency is like after we've mixed it all up with two limes. I might add a little more and lime is honestly one of the most prominent flavors in this crema. It makes it really, really fantastic. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro. Now, if you love cilantro, you can use a whole cup of it or even more if you want to. I don't like too much cilantro and neither does Ed, so I'm gonna start with it uh, just a little bit and then I'll add more because of course, along the way, I'm gonna taste, taste, and taste it again to see how it is. I'm gonna use my black pepper in here, probably about a teaspoon or so of black pepper. I'm gonna use a couple of good pinches of my coarse salt in here. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder, probably about a teaspoon, there we go. And I'm gonna add some sour cream. Now, honestly, the last time I made it, I felt like I added a little too much sour cream, so uh, less is better. Uh, so I'm gonna start with just a couple tablespoons and we'll see where that takes us with this. Let's see how it comes out. All right, 
So I'm going to get the cover on my blender here and we're going to blend it up and see how it looks. And of course we'll taste it along the way. Here we go. <laughs> So I just took the cover off of this, and before I even taste it, I can see the consistency is a little uh, thick. So I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of milk to it until I get it just the right thickness, because I wanna pour this into a squeeze bottle. Now you could store it in a Tupperware container, that would be fine, but you know me, I wanna be fancy schmancy, I wanna drizzle it on things, so I'm gonna put it in a squeeze bottle, leave it in the fridge, and then I'll be able to drizzle it on anything I'd like to. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk to this to start. I don't wanna add too much. I'm gonna put my cover back on here and we're gonna blend a little bit more and then we'll taste it. So I actually added about a quarter cup of milk and I got it to the perfect consistency. And remember, you want it to pour nicely. For one last zing of flavor, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, lime zest in here. And always remember when you're using a zester, don't go too far into the white part of the citrus because it starts to taste a little bitter. You wanna get that outside green in there. This is gonna just give it another pop of fantastic flavor. I'm gonna give it one more little mix and then we're gonna taste it. Okay, it is time for tasting now. I'm gonna let you taste it, Ed. You tell me if you think it tastes like it did at the market, okay? Put my spoon in there. Go ahead, hon, taste it. What do you think? Oh my God, you stole this from the <laughs> farmer's market, didn't you? I tried, I tried. It is it fantastic. Tastes great. Cool, cool. All right, uh, we are ready to pour this into the bottle. I'll do that next. So this crema is the perfect consistency. Now it's such a gorgeous green. Look at that color. It's just beautiful. I'm just gonna pour it into my squeeze bottle now. And we'll be right back. Look at how gorgeous this crema came out, guys. It is a beautiful thing and it tastes wonderful. I have a very funny story to tell you about the last time that I made it. We weren't filming at the time, didn't have my camera handy and I had made the crema and I was going to pour it over the chicken. It had been in the refrigerator for a while and I'm squeezing and squeezing and you could just imagine what happened. It splashed all over the place. It was on my face and my hair all over my shirt. What did you say, Eddie? I said, geez, I wish I would have got a picture of that. We laughed our asses off and let it be a lesson to you as well. If you put this in the refrigerator for a while before you're serving it, you might want to take it out for a little while beforehand so it's not quite as cold. I actually, that day, I actually put the whole bottle in a glass with some warm water and it resolved the problem. But you know, even a weathered cook like myself, I make mistakes too, what can you do? You just gotta laugh. So now that my crema is ready to go, I'm gonna get this chicken seared off. I have a couple of tablespoons of butter in a nice heavy pan. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to it. And it's ideal to let this chicken just marinate for about 20 minutes, because if you wait a little longer, the butter starts to congeal again. And I can show you that, watch, as I pick this up you'll see that some of it is sticking to the plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down the, the side that has a lot of the marinade on it. And then to rectify that other issue, I'm just gonna take this off the plate and use my spatula and spread it all over the top of the chicken here. This chicken's gonna be gorgeous. Can you smell that already, Ed? Yes, I can. As soon as that spice hits the pan, it's fantastic. So this chicken, now your their cooking time is dependent on what kind of chicken you're using and how thick it is. This is pretty small, pretty thin chicken breast. Uh, they might take about four minutes on each side, but I'll check them in a few and I'll let you see how that looks. Look at how beautiful that chicken looks. It's only been cooking here for about four minutes. Look at how beautiful it's blackening. 
I'm going to turn it over. It'll take probably another three or four minutes. But to be sure, I will test it with my thermometer to make sure the internal temperature of that chicken is at 165. Okay, we are ready. The chicken breasts that I have here, they took about nine minutes total. Look at how gorgeous they are. Wow. If you could smell our kitchen now, the spicy smells are fantastic. I'm just going to plate this out. And I'm going to show you this beautiful crema on top. Now cross your fingers, everybody, that it doesn't squirt at me this time. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Here we go. You know what I do sometimes? Actually, let me show you something. Here's a good trick. Try it out on a paper towel first and see that it's the right consistency. Come on over here, Eddie. Oh, look at that. That. Perfection. Here we go. Now watch my plating. Look at how gorgeous this is. You guys, you can do this. You can do this too. Look at how gorgeous. It's like restaurant quality fabulousness. Look at that. <laughs> and it wasn't hard at all. The tasting is next. We can't wait. This chicken looks and smells fantastic. We can't wait to dig in. You ready, honey? I'm ready. Let's try it. All right, Ugh. the crema is beautiful. And this is nice and spicy and the crema kind of mellows everything and makes it work so beautifully together. Mm. 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 <laughs> now the last time I made this, I had some buttered noodles on the side and some broccoli, and you know that crema tasted good on everything. In fact, I'll post a picture, you'll see it next, of what that meal looked like. Hey, if you guys ever have any questions for me, just make sure you leave those in the comments. And please make sure you're subscribed, because if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You know, if you like these recipes, your friends are gonna like them too. So give them a share, tell your friends about us, and please come back and visit us often. And remember, you eat with your eyes first. You've got to make it beautiful. We'll see you next time. Happy eating and happy cooking.